So in order to create our montage, we need a second piece of artwork. Rather than trying to open up a JPEG and bring the two together, it would be better to create a brand new document with the dimensions and the quality set exactly as we need them. And then when we bring the background and the subjects, no bother Steve in this case, together, we have the confidence of knowing that we're juxtaposing them exactly as they will be seen if it's going to be used in a layout or something like that. So with that in mind, I'm going to go up to file and choose new. It'll take to this uh, new document dialog box and across the top, we need to tell Photoshop what kind of document we're going to make. So this is going to be a print document. I'll left click on print and then we get some presets in here, which will mostly be US paper sizes. Um, but you can go and click on the view all presets text link in there and that will expand more down there. We're going to go for A5 in this case. So I'm going to left click on there, pick A5. And then I need to make sure that this is set to port, set to landscape orientation. So once you've clicked on that thumbnail, the rest of the work is done here on the right hand side. So I'll click in there where it reads untitled. That will ultimately become the name of the document. So I'm going to call this uh, A5 poster. Uh, the width and height are set correctly for A5. That's a trimmed finished size. Incidentally, that doesn't include bleed. I'm going to show you that in the next video. I'm going to change the orientation to landscape by clicking on the symbol for the landscape paper symbol in there, which will turn blue. Because we've picked a preset, which is print, Photoshop determines that this should be our 300 PPI. And then notice bizarrely underneath that the colors will be determined by mixtures of red, green and blue which feels very wrong because if we're going to create a print document, then surely those colors should be CMYK. Now, Photoshop is a little bit of an anomaly in that whether you're going to take content for screen or print, it is actually better in many cases now to set the artwork to be in red, green and blue to start off with. This will give you a lower file size and it will also give you access to just about every feature in Photoshop, which CMYK does not. And as you'll see from the InDesign modules, it is absolutely fine to use RGB images in your layouts intended for print. The crucial bit is that when you export from InDesign or you supply the finished artwork, that it will convert it to CMYK. So this is oddly enough, the best practice workflow these days. So that's why it says RGB. Um, and then down at the bottom, if it doesn't in here, read uh, for the color profile, do pick Adobe RGB 1998, that will give you the best variety or range of colors possible to use in your artwork. Um, and then with that done, I'll click on create. Now that is of course, just uh, exactly A5. But what we need to do is add bleed to this to make it slightly larger than A5. We're gonna make it run off the page in our magazine or in a poster, for example. And we also need to put some guides in here as well. So I'll show you that in the next video.